I'm really interested about how this test match and the short ball strategy, I think there were 470 plus short balls bowled in the match. And the truth is, it really works. Yeah. I mean, do you think the way that test cricket will be played around the world could actually be shaped by what we've seen over the last four or five days here? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the England side in the last year and a half have shaped the way uh, they want to try and bat in test match cricket, which is this expansive way, but they've also delivered this short ball ta um, tactic. Baz McClellan used it for New Zealand quite a lot. We've seen Wagner over the last few years use it for the Kiwis. Um, you know, I think it's now down to the batters to try and work out a method to make sure that the bowlers can't continuously. I thought Australia yesterday afternoon, just after I think Robinson bowled nine overs, two for seven. You know, steep bounce, accuracy. Um, you have to find a way of not only surviving it and ducking and weaving because I think Australia probably thought England would go to a different tag, uh, tactic. England kept on going and going. They'll certainly look at that and the way that the Aussies played it and think, that is the area that we're going to try and target with them at Leeds. Whether Leeds will be the right kind of surface, because this surface was a little bit inconsistent in the bounce, you know. I think the ball was whacking it in, the odd ball was flying through, the odd ball was kind of dying in the surface, which made the pull shots and the cut shots that much more difficult to time. But Headingly usually is, you know, historically at Headingly, it's about hitting the top of off stump and we get a little bit of movement. But I've heard the England captain talk about the balls, you know, these balls, and last year was the same. The Duke ball seems to be getting so soft after around 30 odd overs that it's a, ta a tactic that, that England will continuously turn to. Actually, in the second, inning, I thought Australia bowled the short ball badly. You know, they didn't seem to get it, you know, right. They didn't seem to get it high enough to bend duck it. When they did, they got him out. It was all about chest high, which he was playing the pull shot with uh, a lot of control. But... I hope it's not a tactic that we see all the time. I, I like short pitch bowling when it's used at the right time, but uh, did I enjoy yesterday afternoon's tactic uh, for about two or three hours? I wouldn't say I was in, in drenched with the actual cricket, but did it work for England? Yes, and will they use it going forward? Uh, absolutely.